Hey guys, I just wanted to touch base for week two on um, Biology 1406. So I've been answering emails. You know that tomorrow your first lab is due. Um, Dr. Segura will be on campus. Make sure you have it in the correct format. Everything's typed. You have the running head. Um, remember that part of lab one was conducting two experiments, um, the hypothesis base and discovery base. You were doing both of those experiments as part of the lab, but the lab report, you got to pick one, whichever one you wanted to write up. So all of that is due tomorrow. Um, on Tuesday. Wednesday, you have your first word route. You'll take it through Canvas. I have it set up um, where everyone will have a different quiz. You'll ha it'll be two minutes timed, and you'll have ten questions. You need to make sure your responses are either all lowercase or all capital letters or it will count it wrong if it's like capital lowercase or, or whatever so just stay consistent um, you can you should be able to take them on the Chromebooks I've already contacted um, coach Rogers to let him know that on Friday I will be there to touch base with you uh, see how everything's going this as far as what you should be on the books for this week you should be on chapter 2 of the lecture um, which is the chemistry chapter I have provided you a test review for chapters one and two test, which we won't take this Friday, but we'll take the following Friday. All right, um, so you should have any terms that are associated with chapter one done because you've already done that lecture, and any terms for chapter two, you're kind of filling in as you watch the lecture this week. Uh, for lab, you're doing the chemical aspects. There's two parts to that. There is um, a dry lab where you're just uh, kind of defining terms and looking at the difference between uh, acidic and basic and you're filling in the answers there on that answer sheet and then there um, well there was one that's like chemistry you're going over terms and then you're filling in the answers on the answer sheet next week I believe is when you start building the models um, organic and inorganic compounds so um, this week is just talking about um, ionic covalent bonds um, whether it's a, a cation or anion and all of that and it's really reinforcing what we cover in lecture uh, so you're doing that in lab and that's really a, a dry lab you won't really need to um, be have any type of lab equipment to do that one last thing and um, I really need this to happen because normally I would be in class with you every day face to face and I'd be able to learn who you are and uh, I'm definitely struggling with that right now, so I would be super grateful if um, I am going to create an assignment today and have it due on Friday. If you would take a quick video of yourself introducing yourself so I can see your first and last name and I can see what you physically look like, will you just tell me a little bit about you in that video, like what type of, type of things you're involved in, if you're working or not? Um, are you in multiple dual credit classes? Anything that... Uh, that would benefit me as far as getting to know you. That way when I see you at random events or athletic events or district events, like I can recognize your face right now, but I want to know you. I want to be like, oh, that's one of my kids. And so uh, I'm definitely struggling with that right now, not having that face-to-face -face with you every single day. So I will create that as an assignment, and it will actually be a bonus assignment, so it will count as extra credit. It doesn't have to be a fancy video. Just take it with your cell phone. You can upload it as an attachment or it'll have a space in Canvas where you can upload it. And I will watch those and hopefully get to learn you guys better. I want to remind you, as far as grading is concerned, um, I will update grades by every Friday. So if you had something late or missing, um, first of all, we don't do late. But if, it, if you did it, and like, for example, on the lab um, safety quiz, you submitted the wrong document or it didn't come through or whatever and I made a comment that way it was time stamped and dated and said hey we fixed this I put a zero in for it but I'll change it when you send me the correct version of it now it won't happen immediately because I don't sit at my computer and just wait for all of your submissions to come in so when I sit down and take care of that all of that I will update those grades but I always guarantee by Fridays if I can do it before then I will but every Friday for sure um, also Whenever you send me an email or a message, keep in mind that I'm also teaching and I'm doing my best to respond to you in a timely manner. I technically get 24 hours and I'm not required to answer on weekends. I'm doing that just as a courtesy for you. 
So please don't send back-to-back -back messages in a panic because I haven't answered you after two hours and you need an answer right then. If you're proactive, we shouldn't have that problem. It's just going to be more of getting us into a disciplined routine. Um, I think that's all I have to say, but I just wanted to send that video and not put it all into an email. Let me know if you have questions. Um, message me through Canvas. Um, have an awesome Monday. Talk to you later.